sized onions and I'm just going to chop them really thin sorry they're not regular they're large so two large onions for my egg bulla I already have um, egg boiling so I'm going to do 14 eggs so I'm going to start chopping away So I basically chopped my two onions really fine and now I'm going to put my pan on heat and drop a bit of oil on so let's get on with that. Got my egg boiling here. Yes, this is an egg boiler, my mum's traditional egg boiler. It's quite new, she used to use this back in the days and then she stocked up on more. So, yeah, here we go, and it's boiling away. So it's only seven at a time. We're going to um, we're going to boil fourteen today. So so that just means that it's boiled. I turn it off, let it cool down for a bit. Then I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to put in another seven more. But let it cool down first, because I don't want to burn my hands. So I'm just dropping some oil in. To the pan um it's just roughly to your idea i didn't pour that much it looks like i did but i didn't and so i dropped my onion into the pan and mixing it well and i'm just going to add a bit of water and salt now so i'm adding a hint of salt I don't add too much because if you add a lot then you can't remove it and if you add a bit then you can always add it. So that is the key to curry and everything you cook. Add a bit of salt because then you can always add more. So I'm just mixing it well and I'm going to put it on low heat and I'm going to let this simmer out away for about 7 minutes and I'm going to check up on it later. Now um, I rinsed some coriander and I'm going to chop it really thin. And then what I do is just get some um, spices, so um, green chilli, and I divide it in the middle and I drop them into my um, dimbuna. So my family, like my mum doesn't do it, um, it's just something I do to make it extra chilli because I love spice, I do. So you just like divide them in the middle. Um, bearing in mind my mum's going to have it and she can't like... She doesn't like chilli so she just told me that she's just going to take out the egg from it and like she's not going to have the salon so the shira. So I've sliced them in the middle and I'm going to put it at the side. So that's my coriander and that's my spices that's going to go in later when my chopping board is done. So this is our vegetable cutting board but yeah let's check up on our onions. Okay it's softened up. It still needs to get more softer. So I'm going to shut the lid back and let it simmer on low heat for another two more minutes, two to five more minutes because it's still a bit hard. So I took the previous egg out of the egg boiler and I put new sets in. So what you have to do is drop a bit of water inside like so and I put the lid on and I push the button and it's just going to boil on itself and of course when it's fully done then it will make a buzzing sound which means that it's done and then you turn the button off and then it's ready to peel after it's cooled down so now check in on my onion it seems to be simmering well I mean, yeah and basically what you have to achieve is that you need to make sure that your onion is really soft and basically like this but I'm not satisfied by this I want it to, um, to be more soft and you know so just a few more minutes in the pan and I'm going to add in my masalas so my spices so 
so now I am going to peel my eggs. It's still quite hot, so I'm running it under the cold water before I peel. Oh my god. And I am going to start peeling them. So I'm just checking on my onions and I am quite happy with this as you can see. I just wanted to make sure that it was really soft and there wasn't any hard bits and I'm pleased with this because it's completely like sorted and soft. So So what I'm going to be doing now is put in my frying pan on the heat. This is optional. My mum doesn't do it. I just do it because I feel that it's more tastier. What I'm going to be doing is frying my um, eggs before I put them into the bunner. So I put them onto my pan. I just basically added a bit of oil and I'm just going to fry them really. That's it. So the other set of eggs are sizzling away they are going to be done any minute now um, so that's another seven set and the other seven are obviously in the frying pan frying away and i'm just going to be doing 14 today you can do as many as you like but just because there's only like four members in my family you just stick to like 14. so yeah so basically i have added in my Spices. What I've added is the mixed bulk powder. It's a curry powder with every sort of um, curry powder in there. I've added turmeric and I've added chili powder. That's it. I don't add the zero powder, or the coriander powder, or whatever it is, just because I don't know. I just find it that is too like I don't even know how to say it's just too salami, if you know what I mean. So I just stick to minimal like spices really, and I'm just going to mix that in and let it brunei. So good night, it just basically means they cook and simmer away or whatever, I don't even know. But yeah, so I'm just going to let that good night still. And after like about, let's just say, seven minutes, I'm going to add in half a glass of water, warm water. So after about seven minutes of like it being good night, I'm going to add half a glass of warm water. and let it simmer for seven minutes so my egg is coming together quite nicely i like it crispy and okay, so after about two minutes i'm going to take it off the pan and i'm going to put the other set in so it's coming together quite nicely look at the shira looking good bubbling away and now i'm putting in my green chilies and mixing it very well. I just need to remember to wash my hand later on very well, just because I touched the seeds and everything, and I don't wanna, you know, burn my nails off or anything. <laughs> so yeah, mix it well, let it simmer, and yeah. So my egg is done as well. It's completely fried up, all nice and stuff. As I said, this is optional. You don't have to do this. I just like to do it because it's. It just tastes better my mom doesn't do it this is actually the second time i'm doing this and i really liked it the first time compared to the part when i didn't fry my eggs before but again this is optional so there's about seven here now i'm going to peel the other seven eggs and i'm going to put it into the pan and yeah so I'll catch you later alligator so i basically peeled my other set of eggs basically below that is ba um the egg when it fried up and it's stuck under the pan so that's that's okay you have to get rid of it because that's the flavor so i'm just frying it the other set and my masala the masala is getting together very well still on heat i think i'm going to add a bit more water because it's really thick i don't i don't really like a thick paste i like it a bit more runny so i'm going to add a bit more 
So I just added a quarter of a glass more of water and I'm just mixing it in. I can literally smell the chilli seeds, it's going up my nose, but it smells so good and I can't really dig in. So yeah. I'm going to let this simmer for another seven minutes on medium heat. So for dinner, um, it's been nice, so it's coming together very well. It smells gorgeous as well and spicy, which I like. So after my egg has come off the pan, then it will be ready to put into the... So this is my egg fried up. I also took the um, sticky bits off the bottom of the pan and scraped it off because that is the flavour. And yeah, so I'm just going to drop them into the pan now. So I've dropped it in. Now I'm going to mix it very well. Mm, it smells so good. <laughs> I want to eat. So I'm mixing it very subtle, like subtle strokes. So I'm going around the edges rather than the center because if you go through the center, it puts on a lot more force and it basically breaks through your eggs, which I don't want to do because the egg is quite tender itself. So I'm just going around the edges, but also making sure that all of the eggs are covered in the masala. So yeah. So I'm just going to let this simmer for about so now I am going to add in my coriander to garnish. Uh, I can't even see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did let this simmer for a good 10 minutes and in intervals I just stirred it around and stuff so the bottom doesn't like burn. But yeah. So let that simmer away and keep it on low heat. For another two minutes and then you're sorted and that is it it is completely cooked i took it off the cooker and i'm just cleaning the edges of it to make it more presentable and that is it and you're ready to eat it anyways guys i hope you like this make sure to subscribe like comment and share and i do have a big announcement another big exciting announcement coming up soon on my channel so be aware for that and if you want more cooking tutorials do comment below because i will get that done for you and yeah bye guys